I'm really curious to understand from you, how can the models and the tools that we are constantly releasing play that equalizer role and be able to really fulfill in healthcare, education, at you know, really significant ways? You know, finally, for the first time, I think the models that are on the near-term horizon, um, the models that we'll release in the coming months, are over the threshold of being good enough to really address these problems, and now people just have to go build the solutions. So you already see, and you see this actually a lot with deep research in the last couple of days, people say it did this amazing thing for diagnosing a disease or helped me with my research to you know, try to cure a disease. Um, Education, you've already seen now with previous models where people say that amazing uh, tutoring results. So I think the underlying in a technology is just right on the threshold and we'll get there with the next models. But now people have got to go off and build all these services. So someone in this room hopefully will figure out what the AI tutor of the future looks like and you know that'll be a population scale thing and it'll think what that would do if every kid on earth you know, this year got, uh, got an AI tutor that was provided like a better education, or helped provide a better education than anybody could get last year. Um, think what it would mean if we could have like an AI medical diagnosis system that was better than anyone could get last year. Um, think what it would could mean if scientists could go cure every disease faster. And so, you know, we've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Um, I think we're gonna deliver something that can help with it, and now people have to go, go build with it.